today, one of the best bands of all time, and one of the best bass players you've ever heard in your life. Stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Boy, I got I got one. I'm so excited for, about this one for you guys. Uh, today, we're going to look at uh, Around the World by Red Hot Chili Peppers, right? One of the best bands in the world, and as a bass player, a god, okay? A god on bass. Uh, that's that's really the only thing I can I can say uh, about Flea. What a bass player! I mean, historically good bass player. One of the top, I don't know, four, five, maybe. I don't know, maybe six. I don't know. Everybody's gonna have their own opinion, but I mean, you know, you got McCartney, you got Getty, you got James Jamerson, uh, you have Jocko, you have Flea. Right, he's up there. He's he's absolutely amazing. And the band, Chili Peppers, are a great, great band. Uh, this song, "Around the World," uh, released August twenty third, nineteen ninety nine, off the album for California Cation. Um, the B side was Tetra Jam, I believe. Yes, Tetra Jam. Uh, it's one of those songs that. When you listen to it, it, it almost feels like it's all over the place. But then you listen to it like a second time, and you're like, "All right, this song's genius." Uh, this is uh, this in in 2007. The song was really edited a lot and used as a a, a soundtrack for a Rockin' California Screamin' Ride at Disney Disney's California Adventure. Um, it was also used as the opening theme for the 2010 uh, film ad adaption of Beck. I think it was the live version. Uh, or, I'm sorry, the live action version. And it was uh, also on the Songs for J Japan charity album. At least the live version of it was. The live version that we're going to see today, that we're going to talk about today, or we're, we're going to watch, uh, was taken uh, was recorded live at Slane Castle in 2009. Okay, so I haven't seen this performance. I've heard the song, obviously, you know. I mean, of course I've heard the song. Um, but I haven't seen this this version of it. I haven't seen this live version of it. Uh, I'm one of those people who say, I see a bass player live, I lose my mind, right? It, it, it touches my heart. So let's get busy. I cannot, wait to, I cannot wait to watch this with you. I haven't watched it yet. So I, I cannot wait to watch it with you. Uh, I, I, again... Um, it is, well, oh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, it is Around the World, Red Hot Chili Peppers, live at Slane Castle, 2019. So let's, let's, let's do this. This is, this is going to be awesome. Uh, right, off, right off the bat with Lee. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. Sounds that can come out of a Fender Jazz whenever somebody knows what they're doing. It's crazy.
a lot of people. Are you kidding me? Wow, um, absolutely unbelievable, right? Here we go again. It's like absolutely unbelievable. Um, you go see Peppers live. It's like the only the only thing I'm watching is is Flea. That's it. That's all I'm watching because uh, the guy's just absolutely amazing. But again, you know, it, it, we keep hearing this 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 recurring theme theme with some of the older three piece bands, right? I mean, I know there's four guys in the band, but there's only three instruments, right? Uh, and you know you hear it a lot with Sabbath. Uh, every iteration of Sabbath, you always heard it. Uh, you, hear, you heard it like crazy with with Rush, and you know you hear it with the with with Peppers. Just how much sonic room each instrument gets, even live, right? It's like you could even like listening or watching this on YouTube, you know, without headphones, without anything, just you know, a standard upload from you know Streamlabs and you can actually hear you know you heard that Telecaster that's just insane you heard a drummer that had all the room he could ever possibly want you had Flea that just was in that pocket so tight and was just pushing the song forward you know the 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 yeah I, I remember somebody telling me whenever I, I first started started playing uh, the the song is a train okay and each instrument each instrument and each vocal and everything is part of the train but the bass player is the track that the train runs on and i, I never forgot that uh and that's what you see with with like the great bass players you, they always lay down the track for the train to drive on you you see it and you hear it all the time uh and flea is one of the best that's ever lived he he was amazing but the whole band was amazing. This whole band was a great band. It was a great song. Uh, go listen to any of their other things because, you know, if this was the first time you, you've seen or heard uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, I don't know if it's, like, the best song they ever wrote. Um, but in all honesty, it's, it's my favorite, okay? And they, they make great songs. I mean, they make great songs. But this song was probably my favorite Peppers song, so I was glad that I got to share it with you. It was the first Red Hot Chili Peppers song that... Uh, that I presented and you know the reaction being the the live version that I've never seen you know 
But uh, I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. Go check them out if you haven't, because they're a historic band. I mean, they're they're amazing. Uh, and if you have heard it before, and you, and you know maybe brought back some memories, maybe it'll you know kind of give you a little a little uh, incentive to go back and listen or listen to, to some of the stuff that they've played or that, that they've done that you haven't listened to in a while. You, Peppers never disappoints. Just a great, great band. Uh, so please let me know down below what you thought of this, what you thought of the song, what you think of the band, or something else you want you want to hear from uh, from them. You want me to to go over. Uh, you want me to, to present to you. Um, where were you the first time you heard this song? What do you think of of you know, is is Flea in your top five? Is he in your top ten? You know where does he sit as far as bass players go for you? Uh, you know it's so hard for me sometimes. You know, I can give you the five who I think are the five best. Uh, but you know you, you rank them and it changes you know like the like the weather for me. Um, does it do the same for you? You know, let me know. Tell me down below. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please hit that like button. Get hit that bell for notifications. You know, get that algorithm working in our favor. I'm like 98 people away, 98 subscriptions away from actually being able to monetize. So you know, uh, please subscribe so I can I can get I can get busy with that. It would, mean the world to me and please it would also help you join the community what a fantastic community we do have here i love the feedback that i get from from you folks it's absolutely fantastic uh and it means a lot to me to hear you know whenever somebody tells me something that's very personal that they that or they've posted that something's very personal about a song that i, I i've uh i've presented and, and uh, reacted to so uh please keep it coming because you guys are fantastic and as always you know, thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll see you again on the uh, on the next one. Okay. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.